Now let's discuss in detail about gravity load test. In gravity load test, a rigid platform is utilized to transfer the load through the sandbags or concrete blocks. In case of gravity loading, sandbags are placed over this platform to transfer the load to the bearing plate. These blocks or sandbags act as a dead weight. Here hydraulic jack is provided in between steel joist and top of the vertical column to transfer the load on bearing plate properly. Here we need to apply the load gradually, hence hydraulic jack is provided. Now let's see the general common information about the test apparatus. Test is essentially consist in loading a rigid plate called bearing plate at foundation level and determining the settlement corresponding to each load increment. The ultimate bearing capacity is taken as the load at which the plate starts sinking at a rapid rate. A pit is excavated in the ground at which foundation is to be laid. It is also called foundation trench. Trench is the excavation in the soil whose bearing capacity is to be determined. A pit is excavated in the ground at which foundation is to be laid. It is also called as foundation trench or foundation pit. Trench is excavated in the soil whose bearing capacity is to be determined. Suppose BP is the width of the steel plate. Width of this foundation trench should be 5 times the width of steel plate. For example, if the width of steel plate is 30 cm, then Width of this foundation trench should be 150 centimeter. Depth of excavation of foundation trench should be equal to depth of proposed foundation. The plate used is made up of mild steel which acts like a footing. It should be placed on a surface whose bearing capacity is to be determined. The plate size may vary in width from 300 mm to 750 mm that is 30 cm, 45 cm, 60 cm, 90 cm and thickness of plate is 25 mm. Because if the thickness is less than 25 mm, it will bend upon application of load. Depending upon the type of design of footing, shape of the plate may be square of 0.3 meter by 0.3 meter or it may be circular of 0.3 meter diameter sometimes larger size plate of 0.6 meter square are used if the soil is in very loose condition after excavation of pit a central hole of size bp by bp is excavated in the pit here bp is the depth of central hole the depth of central hole bp is obtained from the following relation. Here dp is depth of central hole, bp is size of the plate, df is foundation depth and bf is width of the pit. After rearranging this equation, we will get depth of central hole that is dp is equal to df by bf into BP. After arranging the plate in the central hole, vertical column is arranged on the steel plate. Hydraulic jack is placed on top of this vertical column. The loading to the plate is provided with the help of hydraulic jack. When load is applied to the plate, it settles. The settlement is measured with the help of sensitive dial gauges. For square plate, two dial gauges are used. Dial gauges are mounted on independently supported datum bars. As the plate settles, settlement is recorded by using dial gauges. The load is indicated on load gauge of the hydraulic jack. Hope you like the information given in this video. If you are watching my channel for first time, then click on subscribe and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.